Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of creating data tables, specifically frequency tables and dot plots, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see a whole bunch of numbers on the screen. I went ahead and I rolled a die 16 times, one of just a regular six-sided die that you would find in a game, and these are the numbers that showed up these 16 times. So there are two different ways that I want to show you today that you can represent this information, because right now it's all kind of messy and it's kind of difficult to see which one I rolled the most, which one I rolled the least. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make what's called a frequency table. And uh, sometimes it has two columns, sometimes it has three columns. We'll make ours with three columns. So what we're going to do is we're just going to first write the number. And we only have six options here, right? We've got our one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the options that were on the die when we were rolling it. What I want to do is I want to first, it's going to be easiest to represent these with tallies. So as I'm trying to collect uh, just this messy information, I'm just going to use tally marks. So I'm going to go through and every time I see a one, I'm just going to mark that out. I'm going to write one, two, three. And then with a two, I see one, two, three. So it looks like that's the same. With three is one, two, three as well. With four is one, two. And it looks like I only rolled two fives and three sixes. So that works and it's easy to read if you have small numbers. But if you ever do tallies and it's up to 20, 25, 26, and you have to do them in multiples of uh, groups of five, Sometimes it's hard to read. And so you would probably just want a final column that's just going to be the total or the amount. And so you're just going to take what's in the tallies and you're going to put it in numerical form. So how many times did I roll the number one? Three times. I rolled the number two three times, three three times. The number four was rolled twice, as was five, and then six was rolled three times. So now that's a little bit easier, I can quickly look at my six numbers and see how many times I rolled them. How would we do this with a dot plot? So a dot plot kind of looks like a number line, and the numbers across the bottom don't necessarily have to start at zero and go up to a certain number. What we're going to do is uh, we are just going to put our numbers that we're using here today. The 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Because those are the only options we have. With a dot plot, it's literally dots that are sitting on top. The dot plot always goes side to side, and the dots go above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to build three dots. I'm going to make them kind of big. One, two, three dots, and that's going to represent how many times I rolled the number one. And we're going to do the same thing because this is going to give us a quick visual representation. Now when you're building your dot plot, you want to make sure that your dots are all the same size and that they are spaced out. If you spread uh, like these fours, if I were to spread these out really big, I can make them taller than the lines that are underneath or on top of the numbers one, two, and three, but that wouldn't be representative because I only rolled four twice. So I need to make sure they're small enough so that it, you can easily quickly see which one was rolled the most, which one was rolled the least. And if there were any ties like we had with one, two, and three, and then with four and five. So this is a dot plot. And this represents what we have for our number set here. So here's another example of a frequency table, and you see where you've got a lot of tally marks. And this is why it's going to be nice to create another column at the end that just totals them up so we can use it in digital form. So this red has got 5, 10, 15. Uh, this black was 7. Green was not very much. That's 3. And then orange was 9. And then if we're wanting to represent that over here, we would need to draw 15 dots all the way up. So it is going to get rather tall as we're building. And our completed table is going to look like this. That 15 is going to be really high. And you can just visually see how much higher the red is than the green, which is very low. And the orange is just a bit higher than the black. 